Hello, this is Dr. Jeetan Bendor for Physician Perspectives. I have titled this presentation as Shocking, Lifelong Endurance Exercise and Its Relation with Coronary Atherosclerosis. Why is this shocking? Just wait and see. Something really unexpected. This article was published in the European Heart Journal. The article was accepted for publication in March 2023. Interesting because the authors asked a key question. Does a lifelong exercise result in less and or a more favorable plaque composition? That is, a lower prevalence of non-calcified and mixed plaques. To explain the presumably lower risk of cardiovascular events, in individuals with high cardiorespiratory fitness. So a plaque in the arteries is a waxy or a you know, fatty substance that forms deposits in the arterial wall. And these deposits can narrow the artery and reduce blood flow. So it's called atherosclerosis or hardening of the arteries. So the authors start by saying that the impact of long-term endurance sport participation that is on top of a healthy lifestyle on coronary atherosclerosis and acute cardiac events remains controversial. So the master at heart study is a well-balanced prospective observational cohort study and so they, they recruited 191 lifelong master endurance athletes 191 late onset athletes, endurance sport initiated after 30 years of age, and 176 healthy non athletes, now all were male with a low cardiovascular risk profile, and peak oxygen uptake quantified fitness. The primary endpoint of the study was the prevalence of coronary plaques. Calcified, mixed, and non calcified plaques on computed tomography, coronary angiography. And the analyses were cor corrected rather for multiple cardiovascular risk factors. The median age of all groups or median age of participants in all groups was 55. Here's a graphical representation, 176 controls, 191 late onset endurance athletes, 191 lifelong endurance athletes. Primary endpoint, prevalence of any coronary plaques measured by computed tomography. Here's a shocker, odds of having coronary plaque in lifelong endurance athletes when compared to controls. The odds are 1.78, 1.86, 1.95, 1 1.96 and 2.80 times higher chances of having any of these plaques when compared to controls. That is shocking. The authors conclude, lifelong endurance sport participation is not associated with a more favorable coronary plaque composition compared to a healthy lifestyle. Lifelong endurance athletes had more coronary plaques, including more non-calcified plaques in proximal segments than fit and healthy individuals with a similarly low cardiovascular risk profile. So here's the take home message from the authors. Lifelong endurance sport participation is not associated with a more favorable coronary plaque composition compared to a healthy lifestyle. Thank you for watching.